Hello students, welcome to Smart World, a school of complete education and today we are going to read about the story, The Adventure of Gulliver, right? So let us go ahead and read about this story. It is a story, it is a part of the Gulliver travel book. Now let us read. Gulliver Travels is an interesting book written by a well-known English writer. Jonathan Swift, in which he describes the wages of Gulliver to various lands like Lilliput and Bromdingana. So let us pronoun- pronounce with me Brob Ding Nag. So together Brob Brob Ding Nag. Brob Ding Nag. Okay. Let us proceed then. Though the character of Gulliver and these strange sounding lands are imaginary, Gulliver's experience and adventures are written so well that they seem re- real and true to life. Gulliver, the storyteller, worked as a surgeon on ships. As such, he made several voyages. In May 1699, he sailed on the ship the Antelope. On the return journey, in November, a violent storm sank his seat and Gulliver swam to save his life. Late in the evening, he found himself manned, late himself, late in the evening, he found himself marooned on a strange land. Weak and exhausted, he slept for, for, for about nine hours. It was daylight when he awoke. Let us read what happened next in his own words. So this is about Gulliver. Gulliver is a voyager. So he is saying, the author, Jonathan Swift is saying that when he is returning, when he was returning, so he just, in November, when he was returning in November, so he just get a swift from the winds. And these winds in has just, make his boat to just he sank and Gulliver he just swam and when he just come in back into life when you can see when Jesse opened his eyes he just found something in very you can say eh, abnormal because when he when he opened his eyes he found something very messy or you can say very you know what something when you, when you are going to read, you will find me. Gulliver meets the Lilliputians. Lilliputians are very small persons or you can say small things. This is an island of Lilliput. I tried to get up from the ground, but I could not move. I was lying on my back. Then I found that my arms and feet were held down on to the ground with strings. My hair, which was long, was held down in the same way. Thousands of string had been passed across my body so that I could not move any part of me. But could only lie there on my back looking up at the sky. In a little time, I felt something alive moving on my foot. And it came over my body and up to my face, turning my eyes down as much as I could. I saw a man. He was not half a foot high. By his dress, he seemed to be a soldier. Then, there, come, there came 40 more following the first. He was so much surprised that I gave a great cry. Then they all ran back in great fear. And, as I was told later, some of them were hurt in jumping down from my sight onto the ground. So here, in Gulliver is telling it. Gulliver is telling that when he opened his eyes, he just found he can't move. His hand, his leg is tied with the thread, or you can say string. Even his hair is also which are long, is tied with the strings. So in a little time, in a small, t- in a little interval time, he felt that something is alive, and they are walk- They are coming to their foot, to his foot. Did he say that he see a soldier like man? 
he can't tell me much because all his hair were also tied there so he say he has seen many many soldiers there was there were 40 more one has come only to check and 40 more come when he say that he was so surprised that he gave a large cry large voice loud noise loud voice he gave then all of them who spoke equally lead that many of them when they are jumping from my body they fell and got hurt hurt at you at gulliver attempts to pull free gulliver he attempt to pull free himself after pulling very hard i got one arm up from the ground i also raised my hand hand i sorry i also raised my head this gave me great pain for many of the hairs were pulled out i put out my hand to catch some of the little men but they ran away before i could close my hand on them then i heard a noise and felt a prickling in my hand like that of a thousand needles i found that they were shooting arrows at me i was afraid for my eyes i put my hand over my face after this i thought that the wisest thing to do was to lie quite till night i thought then that my hand being free i could quickly set free from the rest of my body i could quickly set free the rest of my body soon a platform was raised and an important looking man gave a long speech from this chair i guess that he was trying to tell me that they would not harm me if i did as it told i too replied with gestures that i would remain quiet i also told them that i was hungry so what gulliver is telling us that he is pulling his hand that one arm to set free so he has pulled one arm here and he has set his one arm free then he is what he is doing then he is again in zay then he is raising his head but it's but giving pain so he say i put some of the men i i put my i put my hand to just catch the men but i can't catch because they just ran out from there but then i am able to close my hand on them then i hear a noise and felt a prickling prickling means make something or somebody uncomfortable by their work so the, so they what he see that some the soldiers are just is shooting arrows at, at him he was afraid so he say it that i would be so let us lie very quiet till night then i would free him then i would free myself then he said that see he has seen a platform was raised and an important looking man gave a long speech he says that in a platform a raised platform was built up and he sees a very important person maybe he is a king he gave a very long speech so he said from his gesture he guess he was trying to tell him that he will never he will not harm him if whatever told to him him if whatever told to him was perfectly did by him that what the king is saying or the important person is saying if he if he do this work that or he he do as stated by the king then the no one will harm him or he won't harm anyone to live here so he said that okay fine i will remain quiet then he said that he he is hungry he want some food gulliver eats a giant meal giant means a very big at once a hundred men climb up on my body and march up to my mouth carrying food the bed was as small as bullet just you have seen bullets bullets you have seen many time uh bullets in like um a, a bullet is being shot from a gun if anybody mo- watch movies or you can say see hadi there you have been there you see a bullet so these uh, small 
बंस और यू कैन से फूड इज प्रोवाइडेड टू हिम सो ही से आई एट टू और थ्री लोव्स एट अ टाइम एंड क्राइस ऑफ सरप्राइज रोज फ्रॉम द लिली पुटियंस दैट आई शुड ईट सो क्विकली एंड सो मच द लिली पुटियंस वर नो लॉन्गर अफ्रे ऑफ मी दे डांस अपॉन माई बॉडी एंड रन टू एंड थ्रू I could have caught at least forty of them with my hand, and thrown them down. But I remember my promise to remain quiet. Indeed, I was surprised of their bravery, for I must have seen the greatest giant in the world. When I was taken to the city where the king lived, a great guard was made by joining many guards. Nine hundred men worked for three hours to put to put me on to the cart. Which was drawn by fifteen hundred of the king's finest horses. The city was just half a mile away, but the journey took almost a full day. Because obviously, his, his, you know, these armies or the Puritans were half, and he's for in he would be very having a good height, so it took. Then to carry him from one place to another, it would take much much time. So he say that when he, Gulliver is saying then, hundred men climb over his body, and they march. They walk towards him, and they give a food to him. So he say the food is as small as bullet, and at one time he ate two to three loaves food, that bread at a time. And the little puttians, they are crying because I am eating so much. They are saying, "Then how much will be the grain left if he will eat everything?" But later on, they dance on his body, and he had caught many forty of them and just just thrown them down. But not not like that in very high speed, but with little love and affection, they he has thrown them. As he has to keep the promise to remain quiet. So he say he was surprised by their bear because he is, because he is having a good height, and for him, and for them he is act as a giant. He that he say that later he is take he was taken to the king place, yes, and a cart was made ready, and these cart were made by nine hundred people or nine hundred men. For three hours, they had to. Sorry, nine hundred men. They worked for three hours to put him on his cart. Fine, I will just. And fifteen hundred of the king's finest horses has drawn him. So he is saying the city was just a mile away, half a mile away, just a half mile away. But it took almost a full days, full day. Gulliver's new home. The king came out to meet me. The he came near and looked at me, but it was not enough safe for him to climb upon me. At the at the place where the cart stopped, there was an old church. It was the largest building in the whole country. For a certain reason, it had not been used as a church for many years. It had now been made ready for me to use as my house. The great door on the north was four feet high and two feet wide, so I could go into it by going down on my hand. One of my feet was set in a great ring on the end of many strong strings, so that I could not get away. But Could only walk with some distance outside my door. The country outside looked like a garden. After some days, the king and his people were convinced that I would not harm them. So after I agreed to keep certain orders of the king, I was allowed to move around. So because you know what, they have carried Gulliver in a cart, and he was, ah, uh, he was tied with string. Yet, so the. So the king he has came out to meet him, and he has seen that in a pl- the cart has stopped at a place where there is a church, and the church is not being used. It is the largest building in the country where these Lilliputians are living. 
and this judge is ready for that for the gulliver he's saying he's describing how the depth and height sorry depth or height or breadth of the door so he's saying it is five it is four feet high and two feet wide so he can go around it by on his hand and his feet are being is in tightened by the string so that he could not walk but he could only walk some distance he said that when he even he has seen the country it seemed like a garden so he said that after some days king and his people were convinced that he would not harm them so he agreed to the orders of the king and he is allowed to move around gulliver visits the city and the queen gulliver is visiting the city and the queen as soon as i was set free i asked if i might see the city the king was pleased to let me do this orders were given to all the people to remain in their houses i then stepped over the wall and went very carefully along the two largest street there was a two largest street all the windows were full of faces looking out at me a large number of people were standing on the top of the houses the king's house was just at the place where two great street with where two great streets met there was a beautiful garden on all sides all sides of it lying down in the garden i put my eyes to the windows i put my eye to the windows the room in the rooms inside very the room sorry the rooms inside were very beautiful in one room i saw the queen and some of the young princes they were greatly pleased by my visit so he said he just asked he just asked the king to that he want to visit the city so the king ordered that yes you can visit and he ordered the every people that you should remain in their houses then he stamped the people watch him from the windows and believer can see the faces of all them we see the king houses king houses was the king house was made with the two great street where which he watched meet and he said there was a beautiful garden on all side of it that play for palace of the king surround the beautiful garden so he say that he was lying down in the garden and he put his eyes to the window and the rooms are very beautiful the queen and some of the young princes they were very pleased by his visit so it was journey of gulliver's he's telling about lily puddings but that Lily puts. He said that um, the author is told that it is an all an imaginary. All the concept is an imaginary, but he is describing about a place which is an imaginary and how beautiful it is, and how beautiful he is describing is one of the finest thing. So let's do this. A work for you all. Just try this out. Things to do. Find yourself and hold this because it's very important that you you. work a lot on this so thank you class